Okay, let's take a look at uh, Visual Studio. I'm going to do a file, new project. And you'll see different languages over here. If yours isn't already selected, you want to choose Visual C Sharp. Once you choose that, there's a Windows Form application. And you, you want to give this like a useful name. If you're working on Project uh, 1.2, for example, you'd name it Project 1.2. Probably don't want to put a dot in there, but an underscore is good. Then you click OK. Now uh, a blank form pops up here. And over here you should see a toolbox. If you don't see a toolbox, if it's closed, then you can come up here to the view, and here's toolbox. This is where all the different uh, components are that you can drop onto your uh, form. For example, I have a button uh, control. Now there's a little pin up here. If you click that, then it hides your toolbox. And you have to come over here and click on it to get the toolbox to appear. Then if you click over here, it hides again. So if you click the toolbox and you want this always to appear, which usually is a good idea, then you click the, um, the little pin. Now I'm going to drop two buttons on here. And there's, two, uh, there's probably more than two ways to drop a button on. But one way is to double click it. And I'll drop a button on there. The other way is to drag and drop. So I'm holding down my left mouse button and dragging and dropping on the form. Now let me save this. I've been having some trouble with my um, Visual Studio restarting. Uh, so I'm going to save fairly often in case uh, I have to do that for this video. Now if I click the button here, it has properties that bring up uh, specific to that, uh, that control. Now if you don't see properties over there, you can come up uh, to the view and choose properties window right here. Or you could simply right click on this and choose properties and that'll bring up the properties over there. Now this says button one. So let's uh, click that and I'll come over here and change this to Spanish. Now here on this one, um, if I d double click it by accident, it'll take you into the code and that's no big deal takes you into the code to go back to your design you come up to these tabs and you just click the one that says design and now I can come back over here and I'll set the text to that to say English save it okay now if I were to um, think about what I might want to do this I might want to click on it and have it say something so if I click on um, Spanish Let's see if I can remember the syntax. Message box dot show. Um, let's see. Let me go. Then I can come back to the design here by clicking up there. If I double click English then it'll bring up the most popular thing to program, which is the click. And I can do a message box. Message box shows a box to the screen. Dot. Now, by the way, it's case sensitive. So if I do that lowercase and do a show and then um, a friend, like this, you see there's a little red squiggly under there. Um, that tells you you type something wrong. Oftentimes you can uh, right click on this and there's different options here. You can also just put your mouse over it and you'll see show potential fixes. I'm going to change that back to an uppercase B. We're going to show a lot more about debugging. Oh, and uh, there's another place. Here's where, where you got debug and there's a lot of different options here. And we're going to explore a lot of those in coming videos. Okay, now let me save this, and I'm going to run it. And so far, I've had pretty good luck. It doesn't uh, crash. If I click Spanish, you see it comes up and says Amigo. If I click English, it comes up and says Friend. Okay. So then over here, if I go to, you see how properties, there's nothing present there? That's because design isn't showing. If I click Design, then I can uh, choose different items 
uh, to change. You can change the size of your control, or you can use these uh, little white squares here. If you put your mouse over, it becomes a double arrow. You hold down your left mouse button and drag it, and that'll resize it. You can also, if you got uh, one selected here, there's a uh, size feature somewhere. Here's size. So I can change this to um, 95 and change this to 30. And that'll change your size of the, the particular button. Okay. Now, this form also has properties. If I click it, you see it says Form 1 at the top. Um, maybe I want to make this uh, Spanish, Spanish Tutor. Not a very good one. All it does is helps us with Friend. Save that. And run that. And then if I click Spanish, pops up with that. And I click English, pops up with that. Now that's just kind of the basics of how to get started with this. Uh, we'll look at a lot of these controls as time goes on. Uh, so you don't need to worry overly about thinking you have to know everything about these. I know every one of these properties. I don't know what many of these properties do. As a programmer, you may use uh, four to five of, of those properties. So you won't use every one of these. Now, if you're going to develop the next um, uh, Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel, then it's possible you'd have to program many of these. But uh, for our purposes in this learning package, we'll just work with a few. And in the workforce, when I developed Windows applications, I did not program every one of these. I did not change the, the properties. Okay, now I got Spanish shows here. Across the top here, you see uh, there's a categorized button, alphabetic, properties, and events. If I click events, you see we programmed the, the button click. These are all the different items you can program. Like I say, most of those we won't do anything with. About the only thing we'll ever do with a button is program the click. But you could program when your mouse goes over it, you could cause something to happen. And to go back, you just simply choose the... Um, choose that and... Um, properties. There it is. And that's kind of an introduction to, um, to Visual Studio.